As with every story, you should understand Genesis 1 in order to understand the full story. Maybe there'll be some hidden signs and symbols in there that you can maybe, I don't know, somehow relate to free energy. And I don't know. Lucas Snow! One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock, we're gonna rock. Around ten o'clock tonight. This movie is about young little Masons going out from high school to the real world. totally won't be apparent or anything, not like he mentions Lodge or anything, like once or twice. It doesn't mention like 17 or 18 at all or anything, it's not like that's ever mentioned. Just try to view the beginning of this movie from a different point of view, one of which you're like, I don't know, maybe relating to a bunch of people that know more than you know. All very interesting, it made my ears perk, it made the dog's ears and the cat's ears perk. Which they mauled me and attacked me with love. But anyways. For what it's worth and whatnot, you know. Give her. Give her. Last night in town, you guys gonna have a little bash before you leave? Moose have been looking for you all day. Who exactly is the Moose? You got worried, thought you were trying to avoid him or something. What do you got? Oh, great. That's two thousand dollars, man. Two thousand dollars! Mr. Jennings gave it to me to give to you. So now we know there are two in the fold. Uh, he says he's sorry it's so late, but it's the first scholarship the Moose Lodge has given out. <laughs> and he, uh... <laughs> says they're all very proud of you back at the loan. Why don't you hold it for me for a while? Hey, I don't want to take it. It's yours. I'll take it. So, Richard Dreyfuss is hesitant about taking the money and contemplating his decision to go off to college, yada, yada, yada. Little Ron Howard is convincing him he should go, and blah, 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 and, you know, American Graffiti, the movie happens. Interesting. Listen, uh... I don't think I'm going to be going tomorrow. Come on, what are you talking about? Well, I was thinking I could wait a year, you know, go to city for a while. You chicken thing. It's not like the two of them went through a lot of stuff to get into some club, to get into the position they're in or anything. Hey, wait a minute. After all we went through to get accepted, we're finally getting out of this turkey town and now you want to crawl back into your cell, right? Wonderful cell reference. Huh. Beautiful guy. Yeah, so. You ain't up like John. You just can't stay 17 forever. It's You've got to I get that through your head. I just need some time. I had to go talk to Laura. Now take it. Take it. <laughs> but we're leaving in the morning. They're not talking about being accepted to some school. All right. We're leaving in the morning. Written and directed by George Lucas, come on guy, it might be about like him and Spielberg's little, you know, acceptance into the world. Happy birthday, happy birthday baby, oh, I so. Everything feels so calculated in this movie. See, see, 